Hi, I'm Noel, sex therapist. Welcome to my blog. Um, short video to go with the blog today on which I'm calling "Sins of the Fathers." Um, this idea of things being tr uh, passed down through the generations, specifically trauma. Um, I've known for a long time, and I think most psychotherapists and counsellors who work in this field understand that um, uh, I can have somebody sitting in front of me uh, with signs of trauma. Um, specific um, reflexes such as enhanced start of reflex or nightmares, a whole package of symptoms, depression, anxiety, etc. And yes, yeah, seemingly had a um, pretty stable childhood. And um, then when you dig a bit deeper, uh, not that you reveal lots of hidden abuse, that's not what goes on, but that you find out that the parents or the grandparents or even further back uh, experience significant um, trauma in their, in their lifetime. It's very true, say, for example, of somebody whose uh, um, grandparents maybe went through some um, trauma during the Second World War, specific trauma during the Second World War. Um, and we've always known this clinically, and we, we've had a lot of evidence from our experience as therapists of this. Um, and now we're beginning to see um, the neuroscience ev evidence come through, which is supporting that. There's a specific area of the brain called the amygdala, which processes threat and has uh, organises our fear response. It's a very ancient part of our brain. Um, that can be conditioned several generations ago into specific fear responses um, and passed on almost unconsciously down the, uh, down the generations. Um, I've put a link on the website to some emerging research that's coming out. This is um, based around animals. Um, which is beginning to back up our clinical findings as therapists. Um, the, the, the importance of this is to understand that, uh, I mean, I asked for a, a very detailed personal history when I work with somebody going back several generations for that reason, really, to understand whether there's some baggage carried by parents or grandparents or even further back in the family line that might explain what's going on now. It's not to reveal hidden abuse, because often there is no abuse to reveal. It's simply that this has been transmitted, and now we're beginning to understand how that is transmitted in the brain, in a neuroscience sense. Um, so it's not about blaming anybody, it's about understanding and then providing treatment here and now for the person in front of me, as though, for example, they were a war veteran, even though they haven't been to war or they grew up in a very stable household. Um, those types of fears and, and trauma can be passed on, even if the person sitting in front of me know, knew nothing about it, which is often the case, actually, that their grandparents or their parents wanted to protect them from horrible things that had happened. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you with this. It's, it's an interesting area of work, but I'm going to leave you with this affirmation that uh, for today, I wanted to say that if I get to know myself, if I gain insight into my own personal history, that of my parents and their parents, it can help me heal in the here and now. So if I gain insight into my history, that of my parents and that of their parents, it can help me to heal in the here and now. Thanks for dropping by and uh, hopefully I'll see you again another time. Bye-bye.